up guys this is Manny from AAR it's been a long time from my last video uh, I've been working with this rifle a lot this is the B-Man uh, Black Cup or the B-Man 1022 uh, since the last video this rifle is still doing pretty good uh, something that I add on it straight is this suppressor uh, this is my regular suppressor from my uh, Wildcat or my other PCPs. This is the Huma reg uh, I'm sorry, the Huma uh, suppressor system. Uh, this is a stackable moderator, and this attachment right here. I don't know how to tell you where you can get it, cause this one my friend gave it to me. It was from his Ruger uh, uh, 22, and he told me, "Hey man, right before I sell the Ruger, I'm gonna give it to you. I don't wanna sell it just with the attachment." So he gave it for free. Uh, one thing with this, uh, cause this is for a Ruger, the threads are different, so the threads doesn't go all the way down into my suppressor, so you need to put some kind of spacer over here that I made, and just thread it in, it just go like two, three, or four threads down, and that's it, it will lock and sell him in there, but it's still doing a pretty good job, uh, it does quiet this rifle a little bit but remember most of the time the noise is coming from the spring and the back of the system and then the back of the rifle and the stuff okay so the trigger on this rifle is still the same it doesn't feel any lighter than how it was when I bought it uh, I run a lot of pellets already through this barrel and it's still working pretty good uh, the scope the scope I noticed is not holding that well no more uh, I remember it used to hold pretty good when I just bought it, but now I think the recoil on this rifle is kind of strong and probably mess up the this original plastic uh, scope. Still doing the job, but you need to adjust it once in a while after probably, I will say 35 to 50 shots, you need to readjust it on the elevation. Uh, after all, if you throw a new scope a better scope for it he will do better better job and probably do better groupings on more than 25 uh i tried the 177 on this rifle i decide to not make a video on it because i just have a couple sizes couple different sizes of pellet on the 177 uh different pellets i will say that i don't have much much that I can tell you on 177 is still pretty good uh, feet per second went all the way up to 725 but it's still doing almost the same kind of groupings and 177 uh, but this rifle he really loves the 22 just to let you know right now uh, I did a video a small video where I was shooting this paper target uh, I will post it right somewhere in these corners on this screen and this is a grouping that I have just to let you know probably the video you can hear uh, the wind but it was pretty windy it was about 10 miles wind and this is a grouping that I have I start shooting this tree on the bottom how you can see and the last two I shoot it on the box just to try to make a group or at least inside the box and they did they, they went they went inside the group okay and I'm sorry inside the box uh, something else that I can tell you uh, well I do recommend to check all time uh, the screw right here which is uh, holding your uh, barrel in place and the second thing I must the last one uh, the o-ring on the bridge I just replaced it, I put a new one just because the other one broke. Uh, right after all, the rifle is still doing pretty good. Uh, feet per seconds change, yes they do. They drop about 5 feet per second. Uh, with the Crossman Destroyer, which is a favorite pellet for this rifle, uh, I was getting 635, 630 and 640 some point and now it's about 620 625 630 so it's still there is not much of uh, the difference uh, right after all the rifle is doing pretty good i want to compare this with my other brake barrels that i've been having which are kind of pricey and 
this rifle is pretty close to them uh, the only thing again is the trigger T trigger on this thing is horrible it's really hard if you guys found somehow to adjust it please post it please post it in the comments uh, let me know and I will try to communicate with you if you know how to make a video or you can make a video please post it and tag me that way I can learn from you the same way that you're learning from me uh, I don't want to forget about this uh, the suppressor it does change the grouping on on my rifle uh, without the suppressor the grouping is kind of higher on the paper target but I remove uh, without the suppressor I've said the paper uh, groupings are kind of higher I put the suppressor on the group just drop down but it's still doing great job uh, but right after all guys that's it for now if I found more information or something that I can help you I will post another video okay thank you for everything guys see you on the next one